This is my closet and over the past couple of years I have been able to thrift the majority of what's in here, which means I have probably spent Hundreds of hours on thrifting. So I have some tips. I want to share I have some things I want to show and we're also gonna go thrifting. We're actually gonna go thrifting today So I need to make a coffee first Mm, that's good. I think we'll head to a value village location today. That's where I usually thrift here in Toronto I know in America. It's usually savers here in Canada. We have value village We have Salvation Army a lot of my closet is from flea markets too a lot of the time when I travel I like to go to flea markets. We went to Paris earlier this year and oh I still dream about the flea markets there. That's all I can say. I made a little TikTok of that day of going thrifting in Paris. That's what I usually do. It's kind of like a thrift video diary. That's why I like doing it. But something I'll say is if you have the chance to go thrifting or go to flea markets when you are traveling, take advantage of that. Always go thrifting when you're traveling because you never know. There are probably things that you wouldn't be able to find at home. I've definitely found my best jackets thrifting, some of my best sweaters, my best dresses for sure. My vintage dress collection is getting kind of out of hand. I probably have too many. I need to let go of some. Anyway, that's beside the point. I'm gonna finish this and then we have our thrift day to get to. Bye, Mooch. See you later. So before we go in, I have some little starting tips for us. First of all, we're gonna go in with somewhat of a plan. I'm never too specific with it. I sometimes have some Pinterest photos saved. Mostly I just have it in my mind. Right now I'm really wanting some maxi skirts. Specifically, I really want a long plaid pleated uh, <laughs> skirt, which I know is probably not gonna happen because that's really specific, but even if you don't end up sticking to your plan and you get something that's totally irrelevant, it's good to at least have one so that you're not overwhelmed by every single thing in the thrift store. Another thing, we are going through the entire racks today. We are not gonna pick and choose and do that sort of thing. There are always things that are hiding within the racks that you're not gonna see. We'll find some stuff today, trust me. So the location I chose today was the Bloor Street Value Village Boutique in Toronto, which is a pretty downtown location. And I just have to say, some Something that I've always heard in any city or in any place really is that central locations are not good or that they're picked through. In my opinion, I think that's a myth and I think there's potential at all thrift stores, but that's just my experience. I've been able to find my best stuff at downtown locations. But anyway, we started in the shoe section. Usually I'm pretty picky about thrifting shoes just because they can fall apart on you, which sucks. But with that being said, I found two really cute pairs of boots. One looks kind of small and one looks kind of big. So I'm gonna try them and pray that they fit. These were the boots in question. I especially really love these cowboy boots. They were so pretty. Also this pair, I don't really know what you call these. They're kind of like a cowboy boot, but they were very nice. Okay, this is a topic I know that people have different opinions on, but I personally try things on at the thrift store every time. I just think it's essential. I need to know what fits. But first up were the cowboy boots, which fit perfectly. The second pair, not so much. The second pair, I couldn't even get my foot in. They were very small. Okay, find of the day is coming up here here because I also looked at the sunglass section. I usually do this and I recommend it because I find gems in the sunglass section at all times. But this was kind of crazy because I found what I think are authentic Armani sunglasses and they're cute and they were $4. More on that later, but my primary goal was still to get some skirts and I just wasn't really finding anything. Nothing was really my style. I found this one guest skirt, which was cute, but just not what I needed. This gap jacket though, I thought this really had potential and then I saw the price tag. It was very steep for what it was and then I tried it on and I just didn't really love it. It didn't wow me. Perfect example of why we try things on. Even when the thrift store doesn't have a fitting room, I still try things on, especially jackets. These are really easy. We find a way to make it work and another example was this DKNY jacket. I don't know why but this looks so cute on the hanger and then when I put it on it was 
horrendous. Yeah, at this point, we're coming full circle back to the boots. They were $40, which I forgot to mention. It was just not worth it. It was not a need. I almost forgot, but I saw a ton of mystery jewelry bags. I have such a soft spot for these because I got so lucky on one. I'll tell the story later. But yeah, for now, I checked out and we were on our way home. We are back and it is time for a little mini thrift haul because I only got two things. I've learned I need to practice a little bit of restraint at the thrift store, so I made some cuts to what I was gonna buy. We're gonna get Jet's reaction to the haul. This, she might not look like anything special, but she's special to me because I just think I'm gonna wear this a lot and it's very ballet core. Do you know what ballet core is? Ballet core, like I'm assuming ballerinas, how they dress. Yeah, so rate right it one to 10. Um, like eight. I'll take it. These are something special. However, I have found Armani, what I think are authentic Armani sunglasses. This is how they look on. Yeah, they look good. The air face, well, sunglasses usually look good on you. Sunglasses don't look good on me. Here. They're just too small. LA Core. <laughs> These were $4, by the way, and the sweater was 10. For a total of $14, I think we had a pretty good haul. Orange Jeff Dad Chicken review, 10. That's fine. This is a thrift video. It's on an Iron Chef Dad video. The only thing about designer stuff at the thrift store is you don't ever really know if it's real or if it's fake because you don't know where it's coming from. In my experience, usually it's fake. These are kind of a rarity because I actually think these are real. I just kind of get a sense of a feeling. Fake. So I've gathered some items to show you. I kind of feel like a proud mom right now and the the stuff I've thrifted are like my children to me because I guess I just like showing this stuff off starting with the most recent thing quick story time You can go to my tiktok if you want to see the whole thing But basically I thrifted this mystery jewelry bag and here this little tiny thing over here was the crown jewel of the mystery bag It's an earring and it goes in your ear like this with the big pearl at the back plot twist I will put it here. It does say Dior on the inside of this earring So I don't know again. I can't be sure but I think that it's real. I only found one which kind of sucks but apparently you're meant to wear them mismatched and Dior sells them as singles. The thing about mystery jewelry bundles though is most of the time I feel like they're garbage so I don't want to advise anyone to go and buy them but you can get pretty lucky and also they're very fun to open. So do with that what you will. Some other good finds. I recently found these in Paris at the flea market, which I think I mentioned. Baby blue little kitten heels, they're DNG. Speaking of flea market finds, these are some of my favorite dresses. This silk one is so pretty. I got this in Spain. I think it was one or two euros, which is nuts, obviously. And she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She is the moment. Another one of my personal favorites is this black long dress, which was found at the same place. I think it was maybe two euros instead of one. I still remember the moment I found this. I was so happy. I think this was four euros. I always like to give the prices just to put it into perspective a bit, but another DNG find. You can see the tag there, and then the back also says DNG vintage. I feel like these things are such a testament to the point I said earlier about thrifting in other countries because. Hello, I'm giving you the proof. I'll run through some of my favorite jackets quickly. This I thrifted here, it's a Pepe jeans jacket. All the details on this are really cool, like the patchwork and then the back. This denier coat, which I found at Value Village, one of my all time favorites for sure. This purse, which I wear so often, I found at the Value Village purse section. It must've been 10 bucks maybe. This is one of my most worn purses. Okay, I think I'm gonna wind down for the night now. I just wanted to show you some of my most prized possessions. We're gonna go thrifting again tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. I feel like I'm having deja vu from yesterday, but we're at the thrift again. We're at a different location and I'm going with my friend Maya this time, which pro tip, if you have friends that like thrifting, go thrifting with them. First of all, it's fun. And second of all, your friends will show you things that you would never see if you're thrifting by yourself. I remember last time I went thrifting with my friend Brie and she went in the swim section, which I don't think I've ever been in the swim section. And she found this really cute swim skirt that goes over top of a bikini and ever since she did that I've been looking for one because it was so cute usually if I'm by myself I just get disinterested and I just stay in the sections that I usually stay in another thing I do is I follow people on TikTok and on YouTube who do thrifty sort of content Maya actually does a lot of TikTok thrift vlogs and I always watch them just to see how she picks things and how she styles things so yeah we get to see it live in person today I'm feeling like it's gonna be a good day so let's hope
we just went through the entire store and I have a lot. Well, I was about to say I have a lot, but she has a lot. <laughs> I have way more. Where do I look? Here? Yeah, here. Okay. This is Maya, by the way. Hi, I'm Maya. Yeah, I had a lot of stuff, but I whittled it down to a handful of things, which is great. First of all, it's the 90s of it. Like the 90s shape. And then it has a really weird band name. I was about to say, I don't know what that means. I don't know why it says Big D. We're in the kids section right now. <gasps> True. This is a yes. This little. Oh my god. No, this. This is my favorite thing that I think you found. This is something we oh, loved. Yeah. It reminds me of a JPG mesh top. I love <gasps> this part too. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I was saying like the color palette reminded me of like Monet's water lilies. Yeah. Yeah. Or like an earth fairy. So cute. Miley Stewart summer. And then this is adorable. This oh, is I the dress. This yeah. is the dress. If this doesn't fit me, I am going to maybe have a little bit of a meltdown but i will figure it out the thing is maya started with so much stuff and she was able to reduce it down to what we just showed you i have not started deciding what i want to take okay wait <gasps> this i found this in the lingerie section i don't know if it's like a like a shapewear drop yeah i think it goes it's meant to go underneath something i don't know if you can see it's see-through there Ooh, yeah that's so pretty i found this in the lingerie section too that's cute right oh yeah that's really cute I'm a big fan. 11 bucks, so not horrible, not great. Danier leather skirt. I don't know. I don't know. I just never wear oh, pencil skirts, but it's so nice. I wonder. Oh, oh my god. It's $25. If you oh, rotary cut it into a mini skirt, that would be really cute. Another DIY that's just absolutely not going to happen, so. I'm realizing how many skirts I pulled, but that's kind of what I was in the market for, so it's fine. Yeah, that's like the only thing you said you wanted yeah. to find today. So, this black silky one. Oh, this is really pretty. If you see the stitching, I think it has potential to be good. This I really like. I can't get all of them. It has all these details. I think I like the black one better. Oh. Yeah. The Mew Mew. Yeah. We were saying it's kind of Mew Mew adjacent. Yeah. It's giving corporate Mew Mew. Yeah. Corporate baddie. You know, with the like glasses. Yeah. Yes. It's 16 bucks, so kind of expensive. I have some decisions to make and then we'll figure out what we're taking home. haul time once again and this time I actually stuck to my goal which is surprising I'm already wearing the first thing I thrifted this black silky kind of skirt I love the back of it and how it drapes and everything maybe I'll get our judge in again I've added a new element that I think I want you to do first of all you can give your rating of the skirt I also wanted you to guess the price before I reveal the real price. $12. Nine. Pretty close. But pretty good, no? The label just says D. Or no. Oh, I thought it said Victoria's Secret at first. Your then, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at my underwear. I have one more thing to show. Okay, last thing. Another skirt. I'm so obsessed with skirts lately. I just, that's what I need, kind of. Cut to all her skirts. This one a lot different than the last one, obviously. This is more of a maxi, sort of flowy summer situation skirt. Very fun and flowy. We learned about. Are you yawning? Ooh. I guess give your ranking. It needs an ironing. I like it a lot. I feel like it kind of has the makeup of like bed sheets. Well, I'm giving you the negative first. Okay. Black. Like all you can see is like wrinkles, so it looks like wrinkled bed sheets. Great. I like the color. It's like know. bed sheetish, so I don't know. Okay, I heard you. I heard you. If I get the price exact, you have to do something for me. Okay. I'll buy you lunch. So I'm gonna say seventeen. Oh. Nine again. I'm kind of nervous because I'm getting my brows laminated later today, so I need to take off all of this makeup, I think. I don't really know if you have to, but I feel like it's not the best idea to arrive with like the brow gunk already in there. Not gunk, <laughs> but eyebrow gel and pencil and things like that. Anyway, that's all the thrifting I'm doing for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like the thrifting content over on YouTube. I'm thinking I'll load the description box with all the useful things, like the locations and stuff. I have a lot of Toronto ones and some New York ones, some vintage stores, all of the flea markets that I talked about. I don't know, just in case someone wants to look at that and I will see you in the next video.